Hello, everybody. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Madison. And I'm Nick, and we are the creators behind Building Home. We do everything from major home renovations to small DIY thrift flips. And today we're going to be starting a new series called Building Home Basics. Building Home Basics is essentially things that we think every homeowner should know how to do without having to call a guy or outsource it because yeah. it's actually so much easier than you think it is. It really is. We're talking changing toilets, changing bathroom vanities, knowing how to go inside your attic and make sure everything's <laughs> okay in there. Um, or today we are talking about how to change your window screens. Changing out your window screen is honestly one of the cheapest and easiest DIYs you can do. It's a project for any experience level. And the only special tool you're gonna need is this spline roller, which we will explain later in the video. So the basic steps are removing your screen frame from the window casing, taking out that old screen and old spline, applying your new screen, new spline, cutting the screen to size, and then uh, placing it back in the window casing. It's as easy as that. It could be as easy as that. <laughs> There's Unfortunately also- Unfortunately not for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is going to vary based off the age of your house, the age of your windows, all sorts of different factors. For example, our house was built in 1993, which isn't that old of a house, um, you know, by modern standards. However, our window screens quite clearly have not been touched since that day oh, no. in 1993 when they first went in. We have broken windows, we have bent frames, we have brittle tabs that snapped on us consistently. And uh, we had to do a couple extra things to achieve our goal, which was to keep the thousands of ladybugs out <laughs> specifically ladybugs and be able to open our windows and get some fresh air in here so we are going to take you through exactly what the process looked like in our house some diy fixes that may or may not be appropriate for you based off of your situation and if you start and you realize that it's just not as straightforward <laughs> as you think it should be then maybe we have something here for you that can help all right let's get into what we had to do <laughs> Every window is going to be a little different, but you should have two tabs at the top of the casing that you pull in, which will release the casing from the track and allow you to open it towards you. Inside of that casing will be your window screen frame, which will be held in by pull tabs. Now here's one of the first areas you can start to run into problems. Depending on the age or quality of your window screens, the tabs could be really, really worn and brittle and they'll just snap <laughs> when you go to pull them out. So here's what a pull tab actually is supposed to look like. And here's what a lot of ours ended up looking like. I either ended up breaking them or they were already broken. I would say of the 10 windows that we had downstairs that we replaced the screens in, I would say like three or four tabs survived Yeah, <laughs> survived and made it through. Um, so that does cause some problems because they are literally holding your screen into the frame. Do be advised that this of course is going to increase your budget. You could rescreen an entire 2,500 square foot house with 20 plus windows like ours for well under $50. And when you start to get into things like having to replace all of the tabs, replace the frames, then you're starting to crank that cost up into the hundreds, but it's something that you need to be aware of. So test your tabs. Test your tabs, that's a good, that's a test your tabs. I like that. Cool. <laughs> so after you've taken, <laughs> whoa. I didn't realize I was gonna do, I thought I was like joining you with your like blank and pause and then it just- I don't know what you thought you <laughs> were doing. Timing. It didn't happen the way you thought it was happening. <laughs> okay. So after you've taken your screen out of the window casing, the first step is to take the spline out. So to do this, all you need to do is take a flathead screwdriver, pry out the start of the spline and then pull it out. The next step is to take the screen itself out of the frame. Now, 
here's where you can run into your second set of problems. Our screens were really old, very brittle. So really you should be able to just pull the screen off of the frame. But in our case, we had, you know. It was both disintegrating and stuck. So every time you tried to actually pull it, it just broke apart in your hands and pieces got stuck in the frame. So we ended up taking our screwdriver and a utility knife, a combination of both, and kind of taking out those pieces that kind of got caked in. On top of that, it was very dirty and very gross. So gross. <laughs> Ooh. Look at all that. Look at all that. The next step is to lay your new screen over the frame with an inch of overhang on every side. And then you get your fresh spline or possibly your old spline if it is still in good shape and line it up. And this is where you use that little $10 tool. It's probably under a variety of names, spline roller, window screen roller. And you really just roll and roll and roll all the way around and it pushes the spline into the frame and keeps it secure. And the next thing you do is just take a utility knife and you trim off the excess. And if everything is looking good so far, I would be shocked if you ran into any problems here. Um, it doesn't take a lot of force. It doesn't take a lot of energy. It should be quite simple to do this part. I think we are done. Ooh, ah. <laughs> now, does the spleen go inside or outside? The spleen goes inside. Inside. Ooh, you know what? Actually, the spleen might go outside. Interesting. This spleen is outside, but like, I feel like if you keep things to the outside elements, yeah, that's not a good thing. Okay, bugs are getting in here. Fucking <laughs> hell. Son of a Baby, baby, this is our new script. Okay. Okay. Well. Taken care of. <laughs> Should a window spleen be on the outside of the window or inside? I think it's spline, and we've been calling it spleen. So it should be on inside. the inside. So and these, these are guys, on the outside. So they did it wrong. They did it wrong. Here we go. Then you just take that window screen, put it back into your window casing. Hopefully your tabs didn't break when you tried to bring them in and put the window back and you're all done. Now we're going to tell you about something that's really specific to our home and our situation directly related to the reason that we wanted to change our window screens. And I have to say, this is not appropriate for everyone, <laughs> but it was the only thing that worked for us. Yeah. Our frames were very ill-fitting. They were bent. Uh, they didn't really stay in, even with the tabs that still worked. And we were having just an unbelievable infestation of bugs. And you can see how gross the inside of our yeah. window frames were. I mean, it just these did not keep out any bugs and this issue just turned it into a bit of an ordeal nick was outside on the ladder trying to see if he could fit the frame back in a little better from the outside which you definitely shouldn't have to do and spoiler alert it did not work and <laughs> didn't help <laughs> this next solve is really really specific it is not appropriate for everyone so disclaimer right now this is not appropriate for renters this is not appropriate for if you are planning on selling your house soon and you're gonna pawn this off to somebody else. <laughs> this is only appropriate for if you are living in your house, you're aware that this is happening, you really need to be able to keep your windows open and get some fresh air, and you are going to replace your frames or windows as a whole eventually. This is a temporary fix and what we had to do was seal them on in with caulk because no matter what we did, we were still getting so many bugs coming in through the gaps of the ill-fitting frames. So we ended up going out and grabbing some weatherproof window and trim caulk. 
we basically took that, caulked around the entire outside of our window screen to adhere it to the window. No more gaps, no more problems. So from the inside of the window, we caulked around the entirety of the window screen frame and then smoothed out the gaps with our fingers. So that's pretty much everything. Honestly, you guys, I would say your window screens are one of those things that homeowners typically tend to ignore. Yeah. But it's a really cheap and easy fix. Even if you run into problems, you're now armed with a couple more tools to anticipate those problems. And it's just so nice to yeah. be able to open up your windows and get some fresh air. Without letting all the bugs without in. Getting, <laughs> yeah, just killed by bugs. It's something that you probably don't think about often, but I guarantee will improve the quality of your life, knowing that you can just fling open your windows Throw them open. and breathe in that fresh air at any time and not worry about one little bug creeping on in. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let us know in the comments below any other simple fixes that you guys have that you guys are thinking about doing that you don't really know uh, how to do yeah, or how, how to even start. We would love to have ideas from you guys. Um, we have some in our heads now that we're gonna do, but uh, it's always nice to hear from everybody else and figure out what everyone wants to learn how to do. Be sure to like this video if you do in fact like the content, subscribe so you can see all future content, and we will see you next time. Bye.